So when's the last time you were in Washington, D.C.? We've got a mole who's brewing into every secret meeting we've had. I'm aware of the security risk. I thought we'd lost those guys. Extortion, pressure, ninjas. You're going to be transferred to federal prison this afternoon. I know your friend's been framed, but I don't know how. Stepping up the assassination to tonight. John Peter McAllister, the only Occidental American ever to achieve the martial arts discipline of a ninja. Once part of a secret sect, he wanted to leave, but was marked for death by his fellow ninjas. He's searching for a daughter he didn't know he had. Pursued by Okasa, once the master's student, now sworn to kill him. The master found a new student. That's me, Max Keller. But we knew Okasa would be behind us, in the shadows, ready to strike again. I'm Max Keller. I figured nothing could happen to us in the nation's capital. But then, I'd never been there with the master. So when's the last time you were in Washington, D.C.? Pentagon, 48. 
just about the time I first met Brian Oakwood. What's he do? Escape and evasion during the war. Now he's the right-hand man to the president. I didn't think you traveled in these elite Washington social circles. Time to make a change from those bars you're usually getting thrown out of. Hey, come on, I'm getting... You're getting better, I know. So, uh, did Elkwood say what kind of trouble he was in in the letter? No, just that he needed my help. That's good enough for me. He wouldn't have gone to the trouble to track me down if it wasn't important. You two were really pals during the war, huh? Korean prisoner of war camp. The motorcycle was his idea. The what? I'll tell you about it sometime. We escaped together. I can't count the number of times he saved my life. I don't want to hear the name John Peter McAllister ever again. I just can't believe it. This is the latest one. Veiled extortion, a death threat. But you've known each other for so long. Oh, a short time, many years ago. There's a difference. I don't understand. Now, people change over the years. Ideas warp, perspectives alter. Blood runs cold, especially if you're a man who possesses the strength and discipline of John Peter McAllister. Aren't those good qualities? Until they become obsessions. Until you become a ninja. My darling secretary wants to know all about ninjas. Infiltration and subversion is your department. High-priced killers. Phantoms of the night. You can't even see them strike. And you're saying that this dear friend of yours, this man who saved your life, is one of these killers? The man who wrote me these letters is not the same man that saved my life 30 years ago. Maybe if you confronted him face to face, you both were so close. You can't afford to lose a true friend. Hey, let's forget McAllister. I've got more important things to worry about than some paranoid voice out of the past. I can give you five minutes, Ron. Allison, would you please type these up and leave them on my desk for signature? Huh? Sure. Thank you. Oh, and Allison, thanks for being concerned. I'm sorry, I just worry about you so much. That's quite a girl you got there, Brian. I know that. And I know what you want to talk about. I'm not ready. But the hawk is. We're running out of time. And we've got a mole who's burrowing into every secret meeting we've had. I'm aware of the security risk, Gordon. And I've been doing this a long time. Covering something of this magnitude has to be handled carefully. I don't want even the slightest miscalculation to give our spy a chance to slip away. Well, do you really know his identity? I will before the summit meeting. But then if you can unmask him... I still need one piece of evidence. But don't worry. I'm giving our trader enough rope to hang himself. I promised Henry I'd show him the sights in Washington. You stay out of trouble while we're gone. Yes, you. I may occasionally get thrown through a window, but you're the one who always picks up the damsels in distress. I'll be looking. anywhere? You've already been a big help, Mr. McAllister. I know I couldn't have forgotten you, but... Allison Grant. I worked for Mr. Elkwood. I was on my way into the hotel to find you. I never trusted valet parking. Now I don't care if they wreck my car. <laughs> Can I explain over a drink? Sure. Sit back. Now, what's this all about? 
Brian's in danger. Some project he's involved in. He's getting close. To what? I don't know. Unmasking someone. One man he's trying to destroy. Why would anyone try to attack you? Maybe they think he confides in me. I mean, he does, but not state secrets. I've been an Air Force brat too long to expect that I can understand their intelligence talk. I mean, it's all in code. It's like ordering a drink. Screwdriver, rusty nail. <laughs> they have names like the Falcon and the Hawk. Now, calm down. <laughs> You're safe now. I do feel safe with you. You're everything Brian said you were. We go back a long way together. I know. <laughs> All the letters you wrote to him. What letters? He wrote to me. Said his life was in danger. All I wrote to him was that I was on my way here. Did you recognize his handwriting? No, I didn't analyze it. it seemed the same. Why? There's going to be a party at Brian's place tonight. High society. Corridors of power stuff. I know you want to talk to him. That's why I'm here. Will you escort me? I'd be delighted. <laughs> I'd continue to feel safe. And when you do see Brian... What is it? We'll be prepared for... The unexpected. Always. Look, I've got to warn you. Maybe I should have told you before, but... What the hell are you doing here? Yeah. Brian! You always were a hellcat for nerve. I'll say that for you, McAllister. Allison, what is the meaning of this? You received one more letter, no threats. He said he knew you were in trouble. We're coming in this afternoon, staying at the Portman Hotel. So instead of showing me the letter, you take it on yourself to mend a broken past. I wanted to bring you both together so you could be together face to face. Why don't you try talking to me, Brian? You didn't have any difficulty in the old days. The old days, huh? Yeah, that's right. I've got a photograph of my living room of the two of us. Good old buddies. Memories. Good and bad, but cherished because they were day by day, hour by hour. We didn't know if the next moment would be our last. I'd share those memories. But you can forget them because you wiped them out with that first letter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, sure you do, John. Extortion, pressure, ninjas, huh? You wrote to me saying you were in trouble. Now, I got here as fast as I could. I'm not going to waste any breath on games. I play them all day long, war games. But I don't bring them into my personal life. Now, if this wasn't my party, I'd be obliged to deck you. I'd be obliged to stop you. Get out, McAllister. Get out of my home now. Oh. I'm sorry, Brian. I thought I was doing the right thing. I know you did. I drove him here. I'll take him back to the hotel. No, Allison. I'll be all right. I have nothing to fear from McAllister.
Remember when I said nothing could happen to us in Washington, D.C.? Never listen to me. Shinobi Tanto. Very nice, master. Casa. Helping yourself to a few things? It's not nice. The new pupil. We have a common band. Our master. We have nothing in common, Okasa. Let us see how well he had taught you. I'm so sorry about what happened. I don't like being manipulated. It's my fault. I shouldn't have done it. Not by you. Someone else. If Bryden didn't write to you, who did? I'm gonna find out. I wanna help. What can I do? You've already done a lot. Just by believing me. It was a bargain. You rescue me, I believe you. My caring doesn't matter. It's Brian you've got to convince. I intend to, tonight. What are you going to do? Talk to him, without an entourage around. They won't let you in. I've got a knack of getting into places that people don't want me to get into. And that party isn't going to last much after 4 o'clock in the morning. Those letters I'm supposed to have written, where would they be? I shouldn't tell you that. That'd save me tearing the place apart. All right. They're in his living room. Upper right, desk drawer. But he's doubled security now with these death threats. I'll be all right. Don't worry. You're not going to lose me this time, pal. I know, I know. I don't like it any better than you do. An evening with Okasa isn't exactly my idea of having fun. Besides, it could be hazardous to your health.
Look, here's my telephone number. If there's anything I can do to help, call me. You can help by not warning him that I'm coming. I won't do that. I'm frightened. Go directly home. Stay there. Let Elkwood protect you. You be careful. Always. I followed Acosta to a house in the country. The trick was getting in there. Shinobi Tanto. A beautiful weapon. The master does not understand what's happening. Even as the trap is being sprung. I don't care how you accomplish it, Akasa. As long as it's done before the Geneva flight. It will be done. Hawk. Don't ever use that name. Not ever. Is that clear? I don't give a damn about McAllister. You want to frame him for Elkwood's murder, that's fine with me. That's something personal. Don't let it interfere with your job. It would not. This could not be done without my student. McAllister is dangerous. I know his reputation. What am I, chopped liver? As for that kid he's with, well, he's no threat. You can easily get rid of him. Thanks. Yes. You need the dirk. Okasa stole it from McAllister's suitcase. We'll meet you. That was your student. We're stepping up the assassination to tonight. <laughs> house, the master was also getting himself into trouble. Sign John Peter McAllister. It's only 
one man that would duplicate my writing. Cuss up. You find what you were looking for, John? My handwriting. My signature. But I did not send these letters. When did you start receiving these? Several weeks ago. You described yourself as a ninja. It was a subculture I remember was an obsession with you. Take a look at this outfit. It still is. Allison was attacked by three of them today. I wouldn't have rescued her if they were my students. Nor would I have come back here and tried to clear my name with you. I can talk a lot better without that gun pointing at me. I didn't want to believe those letters were from you. Someone's gone to an awful lot of trouble to pit us against each other. But why? Allison said you were in a high-risk security operation after one man. She didn't know who it was. You know what a mole is. Espionage. Double agent. Yep. Buried in a department. Left there like a time bomb. Gently ticking away until he was... Activated by the other side. A loyal employee, a trusted friend. S selling secrets when he drinks your brandy. Does this mole have a code name? The Hawk. What else did you steal from my suitcase? You fight well. Did a casa teach you? You take the door. You guys come with me. We'd lost those guys, Henry. Better get a grip on your cage. Your handwriting, nor your signature. 
An expert will confirm that. Oh, and uh, this doesn't belong to you either, with your fingerprints on it. That knife was stolen from my suitcase. And you always take these along with you when you visit an old friend at four in the morning. I knew Elkwood was in danger. I ran a check on you, McAllister. Want to know what the bottom line was? Suspected of terrorist activities in Japan. Ran a kind of ninja school for subversive elements. A young man named Okasa. Okasa is no longer my student. Uh -huh. And here you are, back in the United States. Broke, itinerant. And here's Brian Elkwood, your old war buddy. Big job in Washington, beautiful mansion, big bucks. But he was reluctant to fund your new lifestyle. So you tried to kill him. I told you, I fought off the real assassin. Am I supposed to believe that there were two of you in that house dressed in those ninja outfits? Of course not. That's the beauty of their whole plan. <laughs> you were framed. All right. OK. I'll spin that one out. Who would this second ninja assassin be? I don't know. Someone Okasa sent. Why don't you tell that to the DA? He'll get a kick out of it. You're going to be transferred to federal prison this afternoon. There'll be a public defender in to see you. I believe I'm entitled to one phone call. Hello? should be here, accused of murder. Okasa's assassin wasn't quite up to par. Okasa? I don't... Just listen. They're transferring me to a federal prison this afternoon. Now, you've got to find Max Keller and tell him what's happened. Max? He's traveling with me. He disappeared from the hotel last night. You have to start there. Allison, I know what I'm asking, but you must believe me. I saved your boss's life last night. I believe you. I... Uh... I'll find Max Keller, but then what? He'll know what to do. Ritualistic ninja murder attempt on Brian Elkwood. Leave him alone for one night. Max Keller? The bellhop thought you might be having breakfast here. My name is Allison Grant. I'm Brian Elkwood's secretary. I'm surprised you're not here with a squad car full of police. You know, I could be just as dangerous as McAllister, ready to finish the job. I don't believe that. Brian Elkwood doesn't even know I'm here. I came at McAllister's request. He didn't try to kill Elkwood. I know that. May I sit down? I know your friend's been framed, but I don't know how. What do you know? They're going to transfer him to federal prison at 4 o'clock this afternoon. How? What kind of vehicle? A security van. How many guards? I don't know. But I did get the route. I thought your first loyalty would have been to your boss. It is. But McAllister saved my life yesterday. I can't forget that. There's a gentleness to him. A caring. And I can't believe he tried to kill Brian. As far as those threatening letters go that Brian received from him... What? I'm sure they're forgeries, but I can't prove it. You're going to have to do that. I can't afford to get involved in this anymore. You understand. Thanks for coming to find me. 
Are you really going to try to rescue him from that security van? Yeah, that's the general idea. Good luck. Thanks. Thought you might need a lift. Allison found you. After I found Okasa last night, he's the one who stole that Ninja Dirk from your suitcase. He's the only one that could have put this frame together. Copied my handwriting. Knows enough of my wartime experiences with Elkwood to make those threatening letters sound genuine. He's getting paid for this assassination by someone called the Hawk. A mole. A what? Double agent buried in Elkwood's department, leaking secrets. Talked about a flight to Geneva tonight. Some kind of summit meeting. Only this Hawk character is going instead of Elkwood, presumably because Elkwood was going to wind up dead. Only now they'll have to change their plans. Or try again. Where'd you hear about this? House out in the country. Think you can find your way back there? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Gordon. This safe house is no longer safe. If your ninjas didn't pick up Keller, then we've got problems. Do not worry. All has gone according to my plan. Except for one small snag, Elkwood's still alive. And you prime suspects under lock and key. So I suggest you keep working with that student of yours. Because your assassin was no match for the master. Next time. No. There won't be a next time. Don't count on it. <laughs> when moving will break your neck. The next attempt on Elkwood's life. When is it? Tonight. Where? The cultural center, the piano recital. Who's the assassin? Ah! As far as the police are concerned, you're still the prime suspect, my darling. Let him go. Give me the gun. Kunoichi, Lady Ninja, my student. You trained her well. Tie him up. Let's get out of here. We've got work to do. You were good. Better even than Okasa had warned me. So were you. I believed every word. You wrote the letter that brought me to Washington. And the fight in the alleyway. The setup. Like I said before. Beautifully done. Now you're going to kill us. Oh, no. I couldn't do that. You have to be alive this afternoon to assassinate Brian Elkwood. That's why you helped Max to rescue me. Had you followed, I figured you'd come here. It's the only clue your friend had. All part of the plan. That's right. 500 people will watch me murder a man today. A ninja wearing a distinctive symbol that only one ninja would wear. And then we'll deliver you back into the hands of the police. Why are you doing this? For a great deal of money. 
and a small amount of satisfaction. I've hated Brian Elkwood from the day I met him. Strange the way things work out, isn't it? And I was really beginning to admire you. And I you. Right this way. You will not be needing this, Master. I will return. I think I saw Flash Gordon get out of a situation like this once. What'd he use? A ray gun. Oh, that's a big help. So we could just get to that light. Swing. Swing? Teach your student all your secrets.
Get up. Wait. Here's the man who tried to kill you. Ron Gordon, otherwise known as the Hulk. Brian, that's not true. No, no, let him go. Take it. Give it up. I don't want to hurt you. It's all over, Allison. said Kunoichi. You're very good. Just not good enough. If Gordon had, oh, more importantly, the Hawk. If the Hawk had attended the summit conference, it would have been disastrous. So when do you fly to Geneva, now? No, no, tomorrow morning. <laughs> now, Alice and Grant, I still don't believe it. How long have you known her? Only a few months. She could have killed me at any time. Nah, she was waiting for the right moment. Yeah, the moment to incriminate me. That's what makes me feel the worst. The fact that I didn't trust my instincts about the man who went through hell with me and then pulled me out of it. Korea? Yeah, prisoner of war camp. There were no escapes except one. I'll tell you about it sometime. And that motorcycle? Yeah, and the motorcycle. Well, this may be a little overdue, but thank you, John. 